In an electrical circuit, abnormal conditions may arise which can cause the current or the voltage in the circuit to become excessive. A short circuit, for instance, will lead to a large increase in current, causing the cables carrying the current to overheat and possibly catch fire. Generators need to be protected from faults in individual loads so that a fault in one load will not cause the generator to fail, with a subsequent loss of other loads. The most commonly used electrical circuit protection devices are fuses and circuit breakers. They both protect against excess current and are rated in amperes. The fuse or circuit breaker is placed in series with the load that it is monitoring. Their rated current is the maximum current that they can carry continuously without blowing or tripping. A fuse is said to have blown when its conducting element melts. A circuit breaker is said to have tripped when its contacts move apart, breaking the circuit. The difference in the type of protection provided by fuses and circuit breakers is in their time of operation, relative to the attainment of maximum fault current. A fuse will blow in a shorter time than it would take for a circuit breaker to trip. In both cases, the time taken is measured in fractions of a second but this can be important for pieces of sensitive electronic equipment, which are often individually protected by fuses. A fuse, once blown, must be discarded and replaced. This should be done once only. If the fuse blows again, the fault must be investigated and corrected before a further replacement fuse is fitted. It is important always to replace a fuse with one of the correct rating. Using a replacement fuse of a lower rating will cause it to blow prematurely, while using one with a higher rating will leave the circuit vulnerable to excessive current and the subsequent risk of overheating. It is an IASA regulatory requirement that an operator shall not operate an aeroplane in which fuses are used unless there are spare fuses available for use in flight equal to at least 10% of the number of fuses of each rating or three of each rating, whichever is the greater. Unlike the fuse, a circuit breaker may be reset after it is tripped. Like the fuse, this should be done once only. If the circuit breaker trips again, the fault must be investigated before a further reset is attempted. A circuit breaker may also be used as a circuit isolation switch by manually tripping and resetting it as required. That is the end of this introductory lesson on circuit protection devices. Here are the main points you should take from the lesson. Blown fuses have to be discarded, but a trip circuit breaker may be reset once the fault has been rectified. Fuses and circuit breakers are rated in amperes. It is a regulatory requirement that an operator shall not operate an aeroplane in which fuses are used unless there are spare fuses available for use in flight equal to at least 10% of the number of fuses of each rating or three of each rating, whichever is the greater.